Hello, this is Nolan with Blender2D.com, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to bring your character from paper to GIMP in a way that's optimized for 2D animation in Blender. If you want to follow along, draw a simple character and scan it into your computer, or save the example image at www.blender2d.com slash making your character in GIMP. When making our character in GIMP, our goal is to create all his body parts individually in separate layers so we can rotate and animate each body part individually when we get to animating in Blender. So let's get started. First, open up GIMP. Click File and select Open from the drop-down menu. This will open up your File Explorer. Navigate to the drawing that you'll be using, select, and open it. You will see on your very right in the Layers and Channels window that your drawing is labeled Background and that it is the only layer. We are going to create a new transparent layer by clicking the new layer button located here. Make sure transparency is selected and to give the layer a name. I am going to draw the head first so I will name mine Turtle Head. Then click OK to create the layer. Now that you have a new layer, as long as it is selected in the layer window, you can draw anything you want and it will not affect the background layer below it. We can add as many layers as we want, arrange them in any order we want, yet edit them all individually. This will allow us to place certain body parts in front or behind the main body of our character. To make the outline of our character's head, we are going to use the Paths tool. This tool allows us to make a shape in a connect the dots like fashion. We can make curved paths by clicking to make a new dot, then without letting go, dragging the cursor. If you mess up, don't worry, Control Z will let you have unlimited do-overs. You can press Control click on the last dot to complete the shape. Next, in the toolbox, below the color palette is the path settings. Click the button that says Stroke Path. This will open a pop-up box that will let us choose the style of stroke we would like to use. I'm going to use the default solid color and a line width of 10. Click Stroke when you've decided the style of line you'd like to use. Next, click on the color palette. This will open up a box where we can select a color to fill in our character's face. With a new color selected, we can use the fill tool, it looks like a little bucket, to fill in the outline of our character's head by clicking within the shape of his head. Now that we have the basic shape of the head, it's time to move on to another body part. We are going to create the body. We need to create a new layer and label it accordingly. I'll call this one Turtle Shell. Then I will repeat the process above, using my imagination to sketch the part of the shell covered by the head of my drawing. Lastly, I will move the shell layer down so it is under the head. Now I will repeat this process for all the other body parts. When I work on a limb that will be behind the body, I cap it off with a round end so when rotating it in animation, it doesn't look like it's severed. Then I will adjust layer positions accordingly. This is my final product after trying different colors, outline adjustments, and my own artistic touch. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have questions, feel free to comment below. In the next tutorial, I am going to show you how to import your character piece by piece into Blender 3D. Thanks for watching, and be sure to visit us at Blender2D.com.